Oh. Happy Sunday, Can now late Monday. We're just gonna let that AC run because we have upped the staffage now of the show. There's like eight, nine people around me. We're trying to give you the best we can. It's current mood. Uh, gonna lead right off. Uh, I'm tired. Why is that a win for you? Because I don't remember any of the big words. And when I use my small words, everyone can understand me. So tonight, I will be universally understood with my tired small words. You know, a lot of people were upset that I had to go on late tonight, but there was no other way around it. I had a thing, people. Anyone ever have a thing? Yeah. You know, you tell people I have a thing. When you tell someone that you have a thing, they tend to not ask anymore. Well, what's the thing? Saying you have a thing is a terminal part of the conversation. I had a thing. Uh, but I had no other choice. I can't pre-tape current mood because it's in the title, current mood. And there's a very special mood that only happens on a Sunday night. Also, the star of the show is not me. Watch out, it's about to get corny. Real star of the show is you guys. Actually, the real star of the show is Thundercat, who's going to be with us a little bit later on. So much to get to, but first, let's see what's going on in the mailbag, a.k.a. the comments. A lot of thumbs up, double thumbs up back to you as well, um, to our East Coast fans who have now had to stay up for two extra long nights. Number one was the World Series game that I believe went 26 innings. Um, I'm doing it to you again, keeping you up late. Um, I'd like to get to a story if we're only thumbs up. I mean, if we're only thumbs up, I'm going to move on. Me love you, John Slayer. Okay. We're using words. We're using words. We're away from sign language. Um, someone wrote, uh, Ram Ranch. That's fine. What is the meaning of life? The meaning of life is to have such a great time that you forget that sometimes the meaning of life is a question that can stop you dead in your tracks, make you get off an airplane, run back to the one you said goodbye to, and raise a couple of kids forever, endeared to them through the bonds of settling. It's the meaning of life. I put this up on my story last night. I couldn't wait. And I thought it made a very good story because it was so text-based. A lot of people ask me, John, is this for real? I thought I was clear that Kellogg's went way out of their way with this. But in case anybody thought that I was making this up, and maybe maybe that's my curse, BJ. Maybe, maybe it's a little bit, I would put myself on the Andy Kaufman level. But I would say that when I do something that's serious, sometimes people wonder whether, it, whether I made it up. I didn't make it up. This is the back of the box where they wrote, it's backwards for you guys. Um, Powering John Mayer's strength. The reason I'm showing this to you again is because, and we've seen a lot of brand uh, social media strategy, and we kick it to the curb most of the time. I always, you know what? When people send me free stuff, I look at it, and I either give it away, but if it's like something that can go in the garbage, I like look at it and I like wave bye to it, because I would feel, feel bad throwing away like stuff sometimes. I'll throw away a t-shirt. And if you guys want to come at me for throwing away a t-shirt, because it could have gone on someone's back. We live in a very t-shirt heavy world now. Point is, <laughs> everyone's got a t-shirt. Um, but this is now powering my strength. So here's what happens. It's like 4.30 in the morning and I get up. I'm a cereal at night guy, like my father and probably his father before him, cereal at night guy. I always say, feed the stomach and the body will sleep. That's how you get to sleep. Before Ambien, we had cereal. Everybody's talking about Ambien. You know what? There's no, there's no racist text tweets coming out of a dude after Special K. You know what there is? Just enrichment. Vitamin enrichment and sleep. That's what's coming out. So I'm sitting down eating alone. By the way, it's a very vulnerable place. You're sitting alone eating. You're in the, the sort of ergonomics of a child doing this. You're staring at stuff. You're thinking about your life. And if you've ever seen 
The Game, starring Michael Douglas. This is very much what this was like, because I looked at the box and it said, you're tired, your brain's fuzzy. That's your body calling for B vitamins, John. And I swear it was like I was on an acid trip, which I've never been on. But, and I, again, I'll say it again, I'm not a litigious person, but dose me and I will sue. So then also, it says, uh, we want to power you. It says all these things, powering John Mayer's strength. So I was blown away by it. And, uh, and I have to say it again, one more time. All the way from Battle Creek, Michigan, one of the best brands I've ever seen in my life. Wholesome and hearty, not just as a breakfast cereal, but also as a brand. You know, they don't have to tell people what their brand values are. A lot of brands today, they say, this is not this is, we don't, we don't, this is not in our brand values. Kellogg's never had to do it because everyone around Kellogg's understands what the brand values are. Kellogg's. So that was absolutely amazing. Um, we have a new segment on the show because that's what the show needed. Something to hold it together. And that segment is a little something I like to call, can I talk to you over here for a minute? <laughs> I, uh, I wanted a theme song for the, for the segment and uh, I just went to Spotify and typed in, can I talk to you for a minute? And this is what came up. And I knew that that was going to be my theme song. So Spotify has millions of tracks, by the way, millions of tracks, many that you don't know. Namely, <laughs> okay, this is called, can we, can I talk to you over here for a minute? And uh, I'll do it every week. Different recipient, I wanna pull aside, have a little come to Jesus with them. So uh, this week's, this week's Mark, uh, page six, uh, page six. Can I talk to you over here for a minute? Listen, everybody had a really fun time last episode. Cassie David came on. She was hilarious. She asked a really cool series of questions that was exciting. And it was kind of cathartic for me because she asked in such broad terms, blink twice if you've uh, slept with more than 800 women. Now, 800 women is such a broad number. It is impossible. I just, it's anybody who talks to me, anybody who knows how I spend my private time knows that I would never give it to 800 women. I love hanging out by myself. And anybody who's known me, Kazi being one of them, would know that that's a fun question to ask because very handily it won't be 800, but just broaching the subject itself is funny and cathartic to me because for so many years, I've been running from any reference to dating or romance. And I'm sure it's had something to do with the reason I've been single for the last four years because I feel like I'm rocking a boat by ever going out with somebody. Then she asked me, blink twice, if you've ever slept. If you've slept with more than 500. And again, didn't blink. I made reference to being a sub 500 guy. And you guys, and I know, listen, it's a tough world out there and you want people to like you and I try to do it too. But I feel like people might like you more if you would just go along with what the truth is. Because the headline said that I slept with 500 women, which I just, again, I want you to know that tonight would be an amazing night for a guy who slept with over 500 women to sleep with another woman. But instead, I'm around plush animals that I hot glue gunned to foam core board that I duct taped together to make a set so I could do a TV show and have fun with my friends. And then you bring back all this stuff that just makes me feel bad. It's made me feel bad for years. So I just wanna say page six, Let's have some fun. Definitely come back to the party. Definitely have some fun. I also just want to say that I thought about it over the week. And I, I actually went back over my entire dating history. And my number is six. So I just wanted you to know that. That my number is six. And uh, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. So, um, 
Let's just carry on. Also, update your sort of inner Wikipedia on your boy, you know? Come to 2018. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come to 2018. All right, thank you. Uh, uh, let's all go back into the party. That was, can I talk to you over here for a minute? Hey, can we talk for a minute? Let's get in and oh. um, I thought that went really well. Uh, let's see what's going on here in the comments. Oh, six. That's pretty good. I'm going to say one more thing. And I don't usually go into this because it's not a big deal. I went out with five you knew. I went out with five you knew. Okay? This is what, ten years worth of a woman I was I went out with five you knew. All right. Let's move on. Anybody have anything else they want to talk about in the room? We have, like, an audience now. Most of them are getting paid to be here, but they make, they make noise when I say something that's, that's any good. Um, what else is going on? Anybody down there want to talk? Uh, this song, by the way, is so... I'll play it again some other time. It's just wild. It's a wild song. Listen to, listen to this. Hey, uh, anybody down there want to talk about something before we move on to our uh, musical guest segment of the show? This might be uh, slightly... Uh, someone wrote, good lord. I mean, it's, it's a wild song. I mean, I don't want to punch down. But it's, it's... God, it's incredible. It's incredible. And to be honest with you, it's what's missing from American Idol. When, it's what's missing. I love hearing things like that. We all miss the good laugh we have. Anyway. Also, make me a judge. Uh, all right. So, let's get, let's get to the uh, music portion of the show. My next guest is a fantastically talented bass player, singer, writer, producer. He does it all. You've known him without knowing him, because he's been on some major records, both as a player and a producer. He's here to play, at my request, one of my favorite songs of his, uh, we know each other now through a bunch of different ways, and we'll get to talking about that. Please welcome the one and only Thundercat. Yeah. You know, they say you're supposed to stand in talk shows, but then this, this is... Hey. What's happened? Hey, it's Thundercat, hey, hey, hey. Everyone say hi to Thundercat. Hey. Hi. Hello. Um, hey. Hey, what's up, uh... Going on here and see hands, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, you don't have an Instagram, do you? I don't. Does that this was... tempt you at all? Uh, no, I, I, I imagine the level of drunk photos <laughs> that I've like completely dodged. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> well, I haven't been on Twitter since uh, New Year's Eve of last year, and there are times I'll just be sitting around going, "Oh my God, thank God there aren't hours of my day that I want to die <laughs> because of something that I wrote that I watched one person mishandle." Yeah. And do you know how many hours I've spent standing in my kitchen, reading a tweet for the 11th time going, do I take it down? Do I write it out? Take yeah. it down, write it out. Yeah. And then I go, I'm just going to write it out. And for the amount of time I write it out, I'm just thinking of my next tweet and how I'm going to get out of it. Yeah. And I find it's a bit of a daredevil thing that I'm just not, I don't have the heart for it. Anymore. Yeah, man. Like, I, I, I get tempted every now and again. I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, yeah, man, let me just get on there and show people how often I talk to my cat. <laughs> Well, can I, can I offer you this? Do you want my password? And every once in a while, you can just jump on and share whatever you like? Yeah, that's, that's pretty, I mean, I, I mean, you may lose followers of that. Ah, well. <laughs> just, just by way of this, I, I imagine Instagram for me to, to be like a, an AR-15 of like emotions. I, 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 think people, I think people would be uh, all about it. That's one of the things I love about you, is I never know which uh, Thundercat I'm about to FaceTime with. 
You'll get a Thundercat FaceTime and you'll be like, he could be in Tokyo drunk. He could be on a silent retreat and he's going to do only thumbs up emojis. The, the, but you really are uh, a, 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 a sort of a cosmic cowboy. Hey, man, I, I, I try to go for it, you know. I mean, I figured there aren't that many black people in space from what we've seen. In, not at any given one like, time. Yeah, there's like a horror. And then <laughs> not not Lando, synchronously. Yeah, like Lando Calrissian. Lando Calrissian was uh, in space. I just tried to... You know, I know they're doing right. those landing rockets now, so I can figure out. How I'm... about landing a rocket back <laughs> where it took off from? I feel like that's not even, like, technically necessary. It's just, like, a big middle finger to the rest of the world who says yeah. you can't do it. Like, we're ne- like most of us are never going to get a chance to experience, like, no. you know, like, oh, cool, the landing yeah. rocket. Can I actually get up there first? You know what I say about the uh, the rocket that lands down exactly where it, I, I always say, weird flex. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. that, like, somebody... Somebody, like, breaks your heart in middle school, and you go, I'll show you. I'm going to get into jet propulsion, and I'm going to fire a rocket into space. <laughs> and I'm going to back it up to where it came from. Yeah. I'm going to back it up. Valet it. <laughs> I'm going to valet I'm going to valet my own rocket. Um, shall we valet this rocket and play and show people what it is that you do? Hey, well, you, you can... Also, we had all of uh, about 40 seconds to go over the song, but we knew it was great. <laughs> We knew that it was great. We should do it. Cannabis. Hey, it's Eric Krasno. The great <laughs> Eric Krasno. Hey, Eric. What the hell? What is he? Drunk was an amazing <laughs> album. I agree. Drunk hey. was and is an amazing album. Hey. Where do you get that much musicality from? I think it's from my mom. <laughs> all, all these chord chains. I mean, these incredible, uh, brilliant harmonic hey, movements well, and chord chains. Um, I feel like it comes from, uh, it came from, you know, of course, my parents naturally. And my, I feel like my grandparents to some degree, you know, those the parents before those parents and the parents before. Yeah. But I also came from growing up with guys like Cameron Graves and Kamasi, you know, and um, to name a couple, you mm-hmm. know, some of my favorite musicians literally on the planet that I've known since I was a child. I feel like growing up with them was such a uh, intense moment because it's like, if you get a chance to meet Cameron, Cameron literally is like, I feel like what every musician is supposed to be like healthy, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> just out the gate. Right. He's like, you know, he's like he's you know he's healthy and he and he can play and he doesn't it doesn't look like it's painful when he plays, right. like I mean which which would imply he's just really healthy. At, yeah, yeah. There well, there is always that uh, ratio that you kind of kind of agree to that the 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 weirder and more genius a musician you are. The, the less of a circadian rhythm you abide by, the <laughs> yeah. less of a dietary sort of rule you <laughs> yeah, have. Yeah, like you're supposed to be like beat up and ran over by yeah, a car. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually experimenting with this thing where I'm not a genius. <laughs> there you go. But yeah. that I enjoy all of the things that geniuses miss because they're so busy being a genius growing their yeah. fingernails out. Yeah. And I'm all this inner pain <laughs> that I've decided that I would stop getting good right before genius there you go, like and just live off the fat of the land. There you go. You so, know, like, um, well, let's have, do this. Have a little dust on you when the black light comes on, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? It's when they stop black lighting you, you should be worried. There you go. It's when they stop. All right. No more psychedelic. No more. No, no. No, let's play a real stately number. All right. This bass is taking up the whole entire screen. Sorry. <laughs> All right, hey. this is going to be great. This What's up, Eric? I see you back there talking. What's going on there? Cat looks like Odell gained 100 pounds. So does your mom. You can say that on my <laughs> show. Guests have free reign. You know, there are things I can't say to guests. I mean, I can't say to followers that guests. I'm like, you you get them. <laughs> you, you get them. Hey. Shall we do it? You want to let us, uh, we'll do like the record. We'll let the loop go by for a second. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to Oh, I got to tune my guitar. Yeah, let's uh, let's tune up, guys. If you're uh, tuning along at home, if you'd like to play, this is E. I'm trying to tune with a with an envelope filter on this. It's completely absurd. You ever try to tune with like an octave on? Oh yeah. You got to put the you got to put the tuner at the beginning of the chain, my friend. You can't put the tuner after the delay. It's really, really horrible. Yeah. yeah. Also, I strive to be your level of badass. Where you arrive to places with nothing. <laughs> just show up out And other, other people just make everything around you materialize. I'm always like, I brought six cables. I'm like talking to everyone. Like, you just like brought a bass. I'm like, we'll figure it out. But but you're the guy who's just chilling. I'm, I want. I need to chill that hard. Hey, man. All right, let's do it. There's a lot of messing up. In <laughs> yeah. 
Do you stress out? Do you stress out? Uh, uh, more since Max passed. But, yeah. Uh, other than that, I, I mean, I, I beat Spider Man. You know, Spider Man was great. I'm waiting for the download content. Are you a Red Dead Redemption guy? Uh, man, that's a great question because I could be honest with you, I'm just trying to figure it out. Yeah. It's a little bit of uh, slow moving right now. I feel like you just like hang out and look at h- horse prints in the ground, and you 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 yeah. you drink pop. Yeah, and you, you look at an eagle, and you can like I guess you can like meet another friend in the game, and you could both look at an eagle together, yeah. and then a guy says, "Hey, give me some help with my horse," and then you you walk over, and then the guy like uh, yeah it's... flashes you, and then you <laughs> steal his horse. Yeah. I mean, it seems like a real, real, uh, real slow build. Real slow build. Yeah, it's... yeah. You know, your hat. You lose your hat a lot in the game. Apparently, you lose your hat. It's it's yeah. You, you, know. you yeah. Yeah, I believe so, it's yeah, called. I imagine you probably have sex once in the video game and probably die immediately. I don't know. Like the West, yeah. the West seemed like it was like. Yeah, well, we had that in Oregon Trail. You yeah, could have sex in Oregon. Sex Trail. and die. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you could actually you would get dysentery or uh, yeah. HR infraction. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm imagining this is like, you know, Oregon Trail or Oregon. This is like a highly detailed Oregon Trail. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is basically that, and I mean, it, you know, it's it's, it's appealing. You can't name yourself Elvis Fuckface. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Uh, all right. Let me, Let me know when the bridge is. Right, one, two, right, there we go. Yep. Thank you. 
I ask you if you remember because I'm not sure that you did. I mean, not well. I mean, I remember we were there. A little bit of a little, little, little half half. There you go. Um, so uh, here's what happened. So Dave Chappelle, <laughs> oh, God. Dave Chappelle had a, a an incredible gathering of, of talented people and comics and athletes and actors and was great as only he knows how to do. Oh, the, man. the 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 well, Dave Chappelle paperless post is a hundred percent reply. Hundred hundred percent RSVP so many levels. Man, Dave is like, wow. he's figured it out. Yeah, he's, he's figured out how to responsibly slip the shackles yes. of society and what the, what the rules are and now that's a free thinker. Yeah, that's yeah. a that's a We love you, Dave. We love you, Dave. So, so we're backstage and I'm talking to uh Thundercat and and, Le, <laughs> and LeBron James walks in. Oh my god. Now, I'd never met LeBron. Big fan of LeBron. I never and, met him uh, either. We, we, we both we had never met him. Oh he walks god. up to both of us, "Hey, how are you doing, LeBron? Can you see you? Hey, LeBron, this is Thundercat." And uh and you go on to look uh, LeBron straight in the eye and say, uh, can I tell you something? This is a true story. <laughs> you say, can I tell you something? And LeBron goes, okay. And you lean in and you go, uh, John and I both don't like basketball. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> oh, so, man. So I, I go, and I immediately, and I hated to do this to you, I threw you under the bus. Oh, my God. And I said, that's not true. Totally I merited. I do like basketball. Totally merited. And then... I said, sorry, LeBron, I, I do like basketball. I don't know why he would say a thing like that, but he's also my friend. He's a great guy. You know, everyone backstage, if you're backstage at Dave Chappelle's thing, you're, you're someone who, you know, you, you, you'd want to give your best to because oh you've God. got a reason to be back there. Oh my God. Um, and then uh, LeBron James goes from giving me about 50% of his focus to uh, a, a real hard <laughs> 5% of his focus. <laughs> And this guy is so famous everywhere he goes. Yeah, he could have mushed me in the face and oh, it was pretty amazing. sure everybody would have clapped. And, but here was what was great. Every once in a while, Thundercat would look at LeBron and go, Hey, LeBron, am I tripping? <laughs> and LeBron would go, wow. No, you're fine. You're fine. And then he would go, well, John and I just don't like basketball. And, <laughs> and now LeBron is down to just giving 5%. So I, and he's a 110% guy. Oh, if you know man. anything about LeBron James, he gives 110%. We are the only two people who've ever seen the guy give five percent. That's how much he was yeah. giving to us in conversation. He wanted nothing more than to stop talking oh to the two God. of us. And uh, what was I wearing? Did I at least look? You cool? looked like someone who oh could God. who could say that and get oh. away with it and get away with it. You did. You oh looked incredible. Oh and I said to LeBron, 
And this, again, all of this is true. I said, LeBron, Dave's looking for you. And, and I just want to come clean now. Dave was not looking for me. <laughs> to make the situation better. I just better. had to get out of it somehow. And uh, LeBron said, great, I'll go see Dave. And I never walked anywhere near him after that. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, to be fair, I have seen LeBron play. And, like, I mean, I mean, like, I, I, can't, I have to eat my words. I'm guessing that's what that is. I you know? love greatness. You know, if he would have kicked, I'm literally, like, you know, like, if he would have push kicked me in the back, like, I was just walking <laughs> downstairs at... I would just, I would, you know, like, I hope that that wasn't too offensive, right? I mean, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, no. I mean, that's like someone coming up and saying, I'm not a fan of your music. I go, that's, that's fine. Totally, okay, yeah. Has, yeah. Anyone, has anyone ever come up to you and been, I, I don't get you? I mean, I've had, like, a beer thrown at me, like, oh. a couple times. Maybe a shoe, like, you know. I don't know, like, you know, every now and again, somebody will walk and be like, you're not Alan Holdsworth, or... Oh, what? That's the nerdiest put down of all time. <laughs> oh, my God. If that's your... If that's, that's, happened. Oh, you're not Alan Holdsworth. Why do I know what shirt he was wearing? <laughs> Why do I know what shirt the yeah. guy was wearing? Oh my good! You're not Alan Holdsworth. You know? I mean, in 2018, what a day! I mean, you must have not gotten out of bed for weeks. Yeah. Um, but, but I mean, to be fair, I have seen LeBron play. I mean, and the dude's a powerhouse. You know I, I mean? just love great people who yeah. aggravate the world with their greatness. Yeah, like he, as soon as he gets into play, it's like there's there's nobody that can stop him, which is really amazing. I'm the, you know? I'm the same way with Tom Brady. Just be great. Yeah, just, and great people. Don't have time for the nuance of explaining to people why like they're maybe. not conceited. <sighs> and I, I, if you're that good, you shouldn't have to pad it for other people. Yeah, I feel like trash. You shouldn't have to go through life <laughs> yeah. padding it emotionally for other people. Especially for weird, fat dudes you're like too, me. But you're not weird or fat. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you're not you. weird or fat. I appreciate the time. So you and I are both going to be, unfortunately, at the uh, Mac Miller Celebration of Life oh, show man. on Wednesday. And you, you knew Mac... Much better than I did. And all, all I can say is, what little I knew him, if I were to scale it out to someone who knew him as well as you did, what a, a lot. I can't even begin mm -hmm. to fathom. That, what an incredible guy. And have you been surprised or in any way sort of encouraged to see what the response has been since his passing of people being so loving um, and remembering him so much? It's, I mean, it's, it, you know, personally, it's been up and down naturally, yeah. you know, as, as it would be, I guess. And um, sometimes it's a bit overwhelming, actually, yeah. the response to, you know, people being able to see who Mac Miller was. And I'm, I'm happy that it actually, like, he actually affected people like that, you know, yeah. like, because that's what he was. It wasn't what he was going for. That's what he was, yeah. you know. I mean, brilliant guy. He would, you know, we texted a lot and, you know, you, you, they, they, they can't, you can't teach this to people when it comes to comedy. And he was such a funny guy. His ability to play along. Yeah, stunning yeah. ability yeah. to laugh and take your idea and work off of it. Yeah. And a lot of people in the industry of comedy or entertainment, they they tend to kind of snuff out what your idea is and go, oh, "Here's another one." Yeah, what uh, an unbelievably cooperative, creatively yeah. so cooperative. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if you're, if I think there are tickets. Are there tickets still available? I don't know, I don't man. Know. But if there are, try to get to the show because it's going to yeah. be incredible. It was actually going to be his very concert anyway. It's yeah, going to be it, very emotional. It, yeah. And it, it was going to be his concert anyway. And I was going to I was going to sit in on Small Worlds, so I'm going to I'm going to uh, I'm going to play Small Worlds in his honor on uh, on Wednesday night, wow. Halloween night, that and I'll beautiful. be with you there. And yeah. and I'm sure that people will see one way or another what that's all about. Yeah, man. Um, what do you say we jam a little bit? Uh, on the way out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, we'll do a light jamming, and I'll, I'll, I'll do my sermon for the week. Um, how about the, how about a little, like, a... Big rest in peace to Mac Miller. Big rest in peace. The young lad. Amazing. You pick a key. All right. It's not that different than the thing we had going on before. I could always do something different, but... Okay. I can't even tell what... This, this bass is so... Okay. Uh, I know who's the manufacturer of the bass again? Who would you like to give a shout out to? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah.
very soon. Have a wonderful week. We'll be back on at our normally scheduled time next Sunday night. We love you. Goodbye.